Fluxlite 8B Alpha is here, brought to you by Freepik. Now, just when you thought there's way too many of these Flux models out and about, we now have this Light 8B Alpha model. Now, for those of you that don't know, the original Flux dev is actually a distilled model as well. So Flux Lite is a distilled model from another distilled model. Now the key thing here that it uses seven gigabytes less RAM and runs 23% faster compared to the original dev model. They give us some examples here where you can see that there are very little differences between these images. They do recommend using a distilled guidance of 3.5 and 22 to 30 step. Here's another simple example. And if we take a close look at this, we can see the details in the image. The eyes look nice and sharp. We see some really nice skin texture. Even on the lips here, it looks very realistic. So definitely it's not lacking in details and quality. And here they reiterate that their goal is for this model to run on a 24 gigabyte consumer grade GPU. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need a 24 gigabyte VRAM card. What they're trying to do is fit everything into 24 gigabytes. So now if we look at the original F16 model, it's already at 24 gigabytes. You include the T5 text encoder. That's already nine gigabytes, I believe. So we're well over 24 gigabytes. With Flux Lite 8B Alpha, the file size is 16 gigabytes. So if you add nine gigabytes, we're at 25 gigabytes. So their goal is to get it under 24 gigabytes. Again, this is alpha. So their next iteration, I guess their beta, should be smaller in file size. And as always, you can download it here under files. If we scroll down to the bottom, you see the file here. You just simply need to click the arrow to download the file into the unit folder. Now, of course, I just checked and the Goat City 96 has already uploaded some quantized models from Q3 to Q8. So for those of you with lower end GPUs, you have quite a few options that can meet your needs. Now, currently this only runs in Comfy UI and the workflow they provided is actually quite simple. You have your typical load diffusion model node, your dual clip loader. In my case, I'm using the T5 FP8. Here's the clip L. We have our distilled CFG here. We have our prompt box and everything else is pretty much standard. We do have a basic guider node here, sampler, scheduler, random noise, empty latent, a node to load the VAE, our VAE decoder, and a sampler custom advanced node, and then just a save image node. So it's pretty straightforward. So whatever flux workflow you're working with, you can definitely adapt it with this model. This is what I've been getting with my 3060 Ti with these specs here. Now the average time I was getting for the full model was a minute and 51. And we see at the bottom here, the 8B Lite model, a minute and 22. So it is faster compared to the F16, Q8, FP8. So in that regard, they are achieving what they set out to do. But the big question is how does it compare in terms of quality and details? And I have a few examples here that I'm going to sift through really quickly. And I only compared it between the full F16, FP8, and we have the light 8B alpha on the right. Composition wise, they're all very similar. It's just the smaller details that are different, like the belt buckles here, even the facial features are different. And that will be a running theme throughout all these examples. But as we looked at previously with that portrait picture, there really isn't any loss in quality, just small differences. Like we see this one car here, whereas the other two images has more cars in the background, different hairstyle between these ones and of course as expected between fp8 and f16 they're typically going to be more similar whereas the 8b will be slightly more different than the other two 
Every now and then you will get these compositional differences too, where we have a front view here, and then the other two models, we have the composition of the chair on a slight angle. Even the texture of the teddy bear is different from the other two. So if their goal is to be a smaller model that has quicker inference times, I really think that they're very close to achieving that. And considering it's an 8B model is actually quite impressive. But in some instances, you will see in terms of prompt coherency, where it may sway away a little too much from the original dev model. But on my GPU, if I recall, it was a 30 second difference between the light and the F16 model. So I'm actually quite curious if you have a 4090 or a 3090, if you actually get the full 23% speed increase. This time around, I didn't do any detailed text testing, but I did notice the text coherency isn't as accurate as the FP8 or F16, but I would say it's definitely acceptable. Now, as always, I'd love to hear from you. When you try out this FlexLight 8B Alpha model, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think we're going a little overboard now with all these variations of Flux? Now, in case you don't know, there is a turbo and hyper model for Flux. And to hear all about it, you can check out these videos right here. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.